Let's start off part 1.
In this part, you will be given a topic, and you have one to two minutes to talk about it. Before you talk, you have one minute to think about what you're going to say, and you can make some notes if you wish. So please speak for up to two minutes on this topic. In this part, you will be asked some more general questions based on the topic from part 2.
Now part 1 Introduction and Interview Questions Where do you come from? I come from a small and cozy town where everyone knows each other, creating a strong sense of community. Is it a big city or a small place? It's a little town, not too big, where the streets are familiar and the hustle and hustle are happily absent. Do you enjoy living there? I truly enjoy living there. The peace and the friendly faces make it a wonderful place to call home. How long have you lived there? I've lived there since I was born, and every corner holds memories. Do you like geography? While not my preferred sub, I find a moderate interest in geography. It's not the most captivating topic for me. Did you learn about geography in school? Yes, geography lessons were part of my school curriculum, although it didn't captivate my attention as much as other subjects did. Are you good at reading maps? I possess a ability to interpret maps, though I wouldn't claim expertise in the skill. Would you visit a country because of its location on the map? Likely not. My travel considerations would encompass cultural richness and unique attractions rather than mere geographical coordinates. What do you typically do on your birthday? Your birthday, the norm involves gathering with family and friends, perhaps hosting a small celebration or enjoying a meal together. How did you celebrate your birthday when you were young? Childhood birthdays were marked by exuberant play with friends, relishing delicious cake, and reveling in the joyous moments. Do you think celebrating your birthday isn't? Certainly, celebrating my birthday holds significance. It's an occasion to feel cherished and acknowledged by loved ones. In China, whose birthday do you think is crucial to celebrate? In the Chinese cultural context, honoring the birthdays of elders, especially parents or grandparents, is culturally significant and holds deep sentimental value. Last summer, I had a memorable experience helping a child at the local park. It was a sunny day, and the park buzzed with laughter and playfulness. I noticed a little boy looking upset so I approached him to understand what was wrong. He had lost his favorite toy, a small teddy bear. Feeling a sense of empathy, I decided to assist him in searching for the missing teddy bear. We checked various spots in the park, and after a little while, we found it nestled in the grass near the swings. The child's eyes lit up with joy, and he hugged the teddy bear, tightly. I offered assistance, because I could imagine how distressing it must have been for the child to lose something dear. Helping him find the teddy bear seemed like a small effort that could bring significant happiness. The experience left me with a warm feeling, knowing that a simple act of kindness could turn someone's day around. It reinforced the idea that offering help, no matter how small, can make a positive impact on someone's life. Do, Do you, you believe technology help has more positive or negative how? effects on society? Yes, I often I help think children by assisting them good with homework, and not so good effects playing games on society. together. And being a friend, it's they good can talk because to we can connect help or feel and learn sad. new things. But sometimes Why is it people important spend to engage too much in volunteer time on services, and that might not be good. Volunteering is important How because important it lets us help others in our community. To higher education. When we give our time to help Going people to college or animals, can be important it makes the because world it helps a better people and happier learn more place and get for better everyone. jobs. How can it's schools like a enhance students' to awareness of volunteering and have more opportunities in the future? Schools can Should teach governments students about invest volunteering more in environmental organizing conservation activities efforts? where they help others. Yes, for example, I think government the should help take or care making environments for more. people in hospitals. We clean air this and helps water, students and if they invest in protecting nature, it make will a be good difference. for everyone. Who gains Discuss more the from impact of social media on the volunteer relationships or the people being helped? Social media Both is a way to talk with friends, but sometimes it can make people feel lonely. It's Volunteers important to use it carefully and, and not forget they to spend time with impact. friends in real and life. Being helped feel grateful is it better to work in a team or in a Wendelian situation for setting? everyone? Working together in a team is nice, because everyone can help each other and share ideas. But sometimes, doing things on your own can be good too, because you can focus better. Share your thoughts on the role of art and culture in modern society. Art and culture are like colors that make society beautiful. They help people and different traditions and express feelings. It's like a big, colorful painting that everyone can be a part of.